Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Saudi Krab and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mustanza, and here's the news you need to know. Reports say that police found a 30-year-old Australian man dead inside his room in Rawai yesterday morning. Police say dormitory staff found the man lying face up on his bed just days after they last saw him leave for a Thai boxing session on July 17th. The man has been dead for at least three days before his body was discovered, police say, and his body has been sent to Vashita Hospital to determine the cause of death. Police are still investigating. And should the traditional Thai massage be included in the UNESCO World's Cultural Heritage List? Officials in Bangkok think so, and a push to include it onto the prestigious list is underway. The Department of Health Service Support is preparing a proposal for the cabinet who in turn have to endorse it before submitting the traditional Thai massage to the Bureau of the World Heritage Committee in Paris. According to one official, the history of the Thai massage dates back over 600 years, but labor laws have to be amended to standardize the practice before it's submitted for approval. Thailand is already home to five sites on the UNESCO World Heritage List, including the ancient cities of Sukhothai and Ayutthaya. And a new plan by the Navy would require violent students all over Thailand from both high school and primary school to attend a two-week military camp, which they would hope would end the increase in physical altercations. The plan is to send unruly male students to the camps to ease tensions among students from rival schools and would include team-building exercises to help foster better relationships. The proposal will likely be implemented later this year following an increase in violence between feuding schools all over the nation. The Prime Minister had previously tried to end the violence by fining and detaining the parents of violent students. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The August 7th referendum on the proposed Thai constitution is just over two weeks away, but several around the country, including politicians and social groups, are calling for open talks and debates. 117 individuals and 16 organizations, including political parties, nationwide signed a joint statement calling on the military government to hold more debates and also explain what would happen if the new constitution is rejected on August 7th. Calls for open debates have come amid a crackdown by the military on critics of the proposed draft charter, with activists having been held and prosecuted in recent months. And police in Chomburi have 30 days to investigate what happened when an officer allegedly attempted to charge the owner of a Pattaya karaoke bar with prostitution and human trafficking if they didn't pay a bribe. The incident happened last week when five men, including two police lieutenants, took a photo of an alleged financial transaction for sex at the Nangfa karaoke bar in Pattaya, though the owner says it was all a setup and the officer demanded a bribe. The owner was then allowed to make a phone call to a friend who happened to know National Police Chief Chaktik Chai Jinda. The owner and her workers were freed and an inquiry into the alleged attempted extortion is underway. And finally, a new online study shows that Thais who travel are the most addicted to social media in the world. A Hotels.com report says that Thais spend almost four hours a day on their mobile phones while on holiday. Those numbers come from a poll of 9,200 respondents across 31 countries, which also says that 10% of travelers worldwide spend over seven hours a day with their phone in their hands. And let's talk about today's news. Do you think the Thai massage should be added to the UNESCO Cultural Heritage List? And when you're on holiday, do you have your phone in your hands for seven hours? 
Let us know in the comments. From all of us here at Phuket Extra, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. The Hyatt Place Phuket Batong, overlooking Batong Beach. Catch the sunset from your own private balcony. Hyatt Place, the right place for you. We have created our heartwarming family style Asian and Western tapas from 2,000 baht net per person at Banyan Tree Phuket. 